Greetings and greetings. Welcome back, everybody. And again, we want to thank you for going to our videos and hitting the like button uh, for our HHM crew. Um, welcome again to Collar Greens and Blessings Cafe Cooking Show. Today, we're going to um, do a special dish. We're going to do fish tacos. And fish tacos was one of the ideas of Brother Porter. Um, he knows who I'm talking to. Um, we're going to do an Asian slaw today, and we're going to top that over some fish tacos. The fish that I have that I'm using today, you can use tilapia, you can use catfish, you can use salmon, whatever fish you would like. Make sure it's filet. You don't want to eat no fish taco with bones in it, okay? You don't want to be choking on a taco. All right. Um, so if we look here, on my right, we have some filet, some yellow fan tuna. Um, trust me. Y'all, it ain't expensive. I just got a good deal at Kroger, okay? It was $13 for both pieces. And on the corner of that, you know, I have my little seasonings, you know, so I can show you what to put on the um, on the yellowfin tuna. Um, a lot of people don't know um, how to cook tuna. Tuna is a very simple fish to cook. Um, a lot of people go and get a can, canned tuna. And uh, if you ain't had a fresh tuna salad, You'll know what you're missing. You understand? But either or, either way, however, however you like it. I like canned tuna, but you know what? It's nothing like some fresh tuna. Okay? So let's get started. All right. So I have some salt pepper here. It doesn't look like your normal salt because this is Himalayan salt, which is a pink salt I use. And I got some fresh cracked pepper that I'm just going to drizzle on top. Sprinkle on top a little bit. And y'all, you don't have to season as much because once you add everything to it and that and that fresh slaw goes on your taco, you ain't gonna need all that. It's gonna be bust. Okay. Then you flip some. I already got some seasoning on the bottom of it, so color. Set your um your pan on medium. Do not cook it too fast. Okay, it's just like a steak. If you cook it too fast, your middle is gonna be raw. So you want to make sure you got on a good medium heat, depending on the um, the intenseness of your oven. Okay, because sometimes medium heat could be high, you know. But I have a gas range so I, i'm able to control my heat and i have a cast iron pan so for those out there who do not know how to cook with a cast iron pan um in the later video after this video i'm going to show you how to wash this pan this cast iron pan and i'm going to teach you how to season it so you can keep your pan in good condition all right now we're going to come over this way my camera woman which is my wife come on love muffin sugar plum all right that's what you want to hear okay yes i feel it in my spirit now come on somebody i'm getting buttered up what kind of oil do you have in his hand now you're asking too many questions, Mary. Now we look. look I just, just for the now look. You make it. You make look now. It's for the viewers. Oh yes, ma'am. No, um, I've got a little avocado oil, y'all. I use avocado oil for everything. Okay. Why do I use avocado oil? See, I'm coming here. My wife, you know, I know wife, you know, she be asking questions. <laughs> um, I like it. It is a fatty oil. It is much healthier than olive oil, but olive oil is a good, a good uh, fat as well for your body. But. Like again, I told y'all in later videos, be careful when you're buying olive oil because all, all olive oil is not real olive oil. You have to look on the back and see where it was produced at. Okay, and if it was in Italy, it should have a printed date on the back of when the oil was pressed. And that's how you know when it's real olive oil or not. Okay, but I always get avocado oil. It's just lighter for me. And it has no taste to it. It still tastes good. Okay, so now as I have my salmon, I mean, not salmon, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Tuna. See how it stick a little bit? You just gotta wiggle it. 
Yeah, I don't like my stuff sticking. Okay. Now, for those who have a cast iron pan, you have to work with your cast iron pan because when it, when it gets to a certain temperature, your handle is hot too. So you have to use mittens to move your, hand, your, um, your handle. So you don't want to burn yourself. So I flip the tuna. See, that was sticking, but it's fine. Mm, but it's got some nice Come on now, you see the color? It's Do you see the color, woman of God? I see the color. What color is it? It's like a mahogany brown. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Oh, she said it's a little mahogany brown. I'm a mahogany. <laughs> I don't know mahogany, I gotta look up what mahogany is. It's just a, a tone, babe, a brown. It's a brown. Uh, so is it the acclimation? What is it, like, talk uh, no. to me? No, <laughs> It's the ever a mahogany. Is that how it goes? Okay. I'm not. Oh, you're not? Okay. I'm not with you right now. No. I am. <laughs> All right. So look, y'all. Look at look at the tuna for me. Come on, God. Won't he do it? Say yes, he will. Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. It's time. Won't he do it? Yeah. Oh, yes, he will. Is it? See, I broke in front of you. Do it again. Won't he do it? Oh, oh yes, he will. That's disrespectful. Oh All right, y'all, so look. God. I'm going to turn it up just a little more. Uh-huh. You got to get that other one brown. Uh-huh. That was a little brown, Lord, yeah. And y'all, tuna takes no time to cook, okay? Look, look in the middle already. Look at that. Come on, somebody. Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me look, look, look at that. That's how people usually eat it, a little pink in the middle. But we're not today, okay? You just see me eat that. Mm. Mm. Look at my face. That's all. You weren't supposed to eat that. I wasn't. Not, not in that color. Why you gotta be snitching on people? <laughs> you see how you watch it? Look, y'all got a snitching wife. You on camera. All right. Yeah. I may be on camera. All right. I am on camera. Right now. Yes, you are. Now look, so, since my wife already snitched on me, she already told God on me uh, earlier. But I ain't gonna mention that. Okay, you see how it's pink? A little, a little pink in the middle. Well, on the outside of it, it's still in the middle. And it's the desire, you know. Hey, you can eat it mid, mid rare, but we eat it fully, fully cooked. Okay, because we don't need nobody getting sick, and this is not a hibachi grill. Okay. So we're gonna um I may cut some of it off and I may slice it. Or I may just or you can break it up too, y'all. Okay, you don't have to cook it whole like that. If it's in the pan, you can break it up and they'll cook a whole lot faster. Okay? And let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See how pink it is too? See how pink it is? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's rare. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it's pretty good like that. Well, and, 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 and I ate it like this because, you know, going to a lot of culinary events and learning, you know, the different salads and stuff that had like some medium rare tuna on it, you know, with a little a wasabi vinaigrette, you know, it just brings it all together. It's very, very delicious. But of course, for our brother Porter, he suggested fish tacos. And I'm gonna give him what he asked for. And also for our HHM crew, in case you wanna do something fancy but fancy for your loved ones or for your children. I suggest mothers, fathers, if you wanna do it for your children, y'all have a children night, get some tilapia. Get some tilapia or get a, or get a cod fish and you can bake your fish you know, for like uh, 15, 20 minutes. And then once you bake your fish, um, you break it up. That's all you do. And y'all you, gonna see later on what I'm about to do to the tacos, okay? Okay, what heat is that on? That heat is on 
So medium. Okay, would you turn it down because it's not done yet, or are you just leave it at that temp? Um, well, since I got the brown, brown, the brown that's on the fish, like I want it. Okay. Because when you're dealing with tuna, you have to cook tuna like a steak. Oh, okay. You know, all fish cook real fast, but tuna, you got to really cook it like a steak. And usually when people cook tuna, they only brown the sides of it, cook for maybe two or three minutes on each side, and they slice it real thin, so it's kind of mid red in the middle. But so you got, but you got to cook it a little longer to, to uh, and break it, break it down like I did to uh, fully get it cooked where there's no pinkness in the middle of it. And if you look at it, oh, yeah, it's good now. Uh huh. When I tell you these tacos gonna be okay. And when I mean okay, they're gonna be bust. I feel it. What you feel, Angela? Oh, I feel it in my toe. See, America? I, I, I missed my cue. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So flavorful. I mean, why I keep saying salmon? Y'all yeah, know what I mean. It's in my spirit. The salmon is, <laughs> is, is for me. You hear me? Uh, we eat salmon a lot, y'all. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. Okay. So, all right, y'all. You can cook a little longer, but I'm going to cook like this. Okay? All right. Now, we got the salmon finished over here. Now we're gonna move over here to the dressing. That's him. I'm sorry. <laughs> see, y'all. I'ma help you. See, that's what your wife is for, to remind you. Come on. I keep saying salmon. Okay, so, all right. So look, look what we got here. I made a little sauce earlier for my tacos. I did half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of mayonnaise, a little cayenne pepper, um, squeeze some fresh lemon juice. I put a little um, sesame sauce, like ses the sesame dressing sauce. I put a little, uh, like maybe uh, one third cup of, um, of the sesame sauce in the bowl. Um, I put a little garlic powder in there and I mix it up for my um, my topping on my um, tacos, okay? But what I'm going to make here is I'm going to make a slaw, okay? So right here, I'm going to cut, cut my, um, my slaw up. Make sure you cut it real thin. Be careful, y'all. If you don't got nice skills, just take your time. Or use, or use a mandolin. You know, like a mandolin that cuts up the uh, the cheese. Use one of those. Oh, those work real well. Okay, so a grater for people who don't know what a mandolin is. You're right. It's a it's a grater. Okay. A cheese grater. Well, a mandolin has different blade sizes where you can cut, and it has different shapes on the blade where you can make designs for the carrots or, but you can get a shredder. Okay, so cabbage. Yes, y'all use everything in my hands. Cabbage. Okay. Mayonnaise. Okay. One. Two. Half of a cup of brown sugar. This is not the topic for that. All right, so we got rice vinegar. Okay. We're gonna, mm, so y'all know. Let's do one tablespoon. Cause rice vinegar is strong. Rice vinegar, boom. Well, <laughs> let's do one tablespoon and a half. Okay. Done with that. All right. 
And we're gonna put a little salt. Just a little salt. The salt brings out the sweetness. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we're gonna have my little, my little tongue, you know, tongue. Put you pull your tongue out. <laughs> okay. Mm. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna got some cilantro right here. Boom, come on now. And if you look and see. See that? Look how beautiful that is. Mm. Yeah, make sure you mix it real well. Okay. I just try. That's it. That's it. Mm. I feel it. Oh, right there. What we're gonna do? We're gonna add a little more vinegar. What? Plus the brown sugar. I like the sweetness of it, but I like a bite. Okay. I like you more than Eddie. About another tablespoon. Another tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, bless your name. Let's see. That's disrespectful. I'm, I'm sorry, this is my table anyway, you know. It's disrespectful, y'all. You know when the food disrespect when it talk back to you. You got it. What did it say? Huh? Now what did it say? What did it say? What did it say? It said no. I said yes. It said no. Because I'm starting to like no, because you know I'm about to tear it up. You hear me? Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it, oh, yeah, it cuts you back out. Oh. Yeah, not, not a real cuss word. But when it bites you back like that, and you eat, you know, you just jump back like that, it's good. You hear me? It's real good. Look at it, y'all. Look, look, look. I'm being, I'm being extra. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's good. You see how I talk back? What did he say? You asked too many questions, man. <laughs> you asked too many questions. It's, 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 it's between me and the cabbage. You understand the slaw? It's between. We got some beef going on, okay? All right, so now, we done with the slaw, okay? Put the slaw on the side. Okay. I'll put everything up. All right. Mix this mayonnaise back in here. I don't like wasting my mayonnaise on the spoon. Okay. Matter of fact, let me add all this cabbage in here. Why not waste the cabbage? That's not wasted. That's not wasted. And it's not gonna hurt anything, y'all. Okay. Add a little more. I'm drawing that. Mm -hmm. Cause I had a little mayonnaise on my spoon. So that's why I did that. Okay. Y'all, this is so beautiful, y'all. It's just so simple to cook. It's so simple, y'all. You just gotta take your time, and enjoy what you're doing. And if you're new at this, just, just take it step by step. Don't be afraid to take your time and read the instructions and, or go over this video over and over again. It's okay. And I promise you, when you finish, they're gonna thank you the chef the year, chef of the year. <laughs> So look, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. That's good. And that's gonna go over the tacos, okay? Mm -hmm. So now that we're done over here with, with this, we're gonna go ahead and warm up the tortillas. So I have the pan over here. Okay, I'm gonna fire my wife. She's a camera, I'm camera woman. You gotta. Uh -huh, I'm gonna fire her. <laughs> I am. So I sprayed my pan. And I got corn tortillas, or you could do flour tortillas. But if you really want it authentic, eat some corn tortillas. Now, as you pull the corn, corn tortillas out, you could try one. I mean, man, I like it. But when you heat it up, it expands the gluten in the um the corn tortilla, and it tastes better. Okay. So I I have my flat pan here. This is my favorite pan, and it's on medium heat. It is a little hot. I'm just gonna stick them on here like this. Okay. You tell you don't oil that with that then? No, I don't oil, don't oil your own tortillas. No, you, and it, it takes no time. You just want to hit it with some heat. 
Y'all don't do what I'm doing with my hands. I'm just so used to doing this. Okay. That's all you want to do. Flip. There you go. Flip. Flip. There you go. Flip. Not long. And then get ready to prep. Not prep. Uh, we're going to get ready to uh, decorate the plate. Plates? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Plates. Y'all heard that? That's from my wife. She's pregnant. She said plates. She's thinking about her. But I'm going to take care of her. <laughs> Come on, Miracle. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Now, you see how soft it is? They're real soft. Okay. And we're going to take it off. Okay. And this is what we're going to do. We're gonna bring the salmon over. I mean, see, I caught myself. The tuna. Okay. Tuna over. Right. Get some tuna. Put it in like this. We're gonna make it up. We're gonna load this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. And go to the other one. So, Brother Porter, it's simple, man. You don't got to do a lot. It's simple, man. Okay. As I fold, I fold like this. I bring the other taco over. Okay. There you go. There you go. Then you fold. I'm going to spread them out a little bit. Other one. Okay. This is for the beautiful wife. You now I gotta take care of her. It's a problem now. She's spoiled. Oh, did that? Oh, crap. You right there. I'm sorry. You feel me? I just had a moment. Okay, so I have a little sauce right here that I told you what I mix with mayonnaise, a little sour cream, cayenne pepper. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit in here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm hmm Look how beautiful that is. It's gonna look a whole lot beautiful when I finish. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is I have some. Okay, y'all see it? What is it? Come on now, why are you doing me like that? <laughs> you know I can't pronounce cheese. You know I can't pronounce cheese. Oh. Why are you doing me like that on the camera? It's just Mexican, just it's Mexican style Parmesan cheese with, from that brand. Oh, you read it? They're old. Well, it's called? They're rolling. Uh, Katija? We're going to say Katija. Katia. My wife tried Katia. me, y'all. She tried me. Katija is so, so, I'm sorry, Katija. So, this is similar to um, it says Parmesan cheese, but it tastes similar like feta cheese, but it's more milder, okay? And this is just, a, like, like she says, authentic Mexican cheese that they put on their tacos, okay? So, once we put the sauce down, we're going to throw a little color on there. Mm-hmm. Just a little color. Just a little color. Mm-hmm. You need to shift that a little bit more. Miracle. I, I promise you about to be fine. You don't even know it. Okay. You don't even know it. Oh. Garnish is everything. It is. After meal is you what hey, you hold on now. You talking too much, man. See, you about to be fine. I already you don't even know it. You better get your two weeks notice. Okay. Ma'am, we don't blow. You understand? Okay. Woo, come on, y'all. I feel it in my spirit. All right. Come on now. Y'all look. You got to do this the right way. Mm. Mm. 
Come on. Ooh, look at the color. It's the color for me. <laughs> yes, Lord. Mm, no. Come on, Jesus. He's my rock, my sword and shield. Mm, in the middle of the wheel, I know he'll never, never. Spread it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. And we ain't gonna play with it. Mm -hmm. mm. This is when you disrespect. You just come on now. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. <laughs> Why lie? Simple, easy peasy, okay? So again, we made. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. Come on now. And you know me, I gotta get a little extra. It's okay. He being fat. We pregnant, y'all. Yeah, we are. We being fat, but it's okay. Let me show you. Look, look. Tossing in hand like that. Come on now. <laughs> Cause I got, I gotta see what it's, what it's gonna taste like, y'all. Cause that, 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 that presentation is beautiful. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Grab a little bit. Mm-hmm. You see a little sauce. Uh huh. Come on now with the slaw. Let's see. Mm. Wipe your mouth, baby. Wipe your mouth. <laughs> it's good, y'all. It's good. Tell them thank you. Just tell, tell the Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Look at my hand, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm. Lick your lip and, and um, wrap this video up so I can eat some. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> but thank you so much, y'all. It's been a blessing. It's been a pleasure for y'all to tune in. Tune in. Write down below the comments what you want me to fix. You know, your challenges, you know, what would you like to see happen, okay? We love you. We truly call you blessed. And again, thank you for choosing Colleges of Blessings Cafe. We love you. Goodbye.